last time we did part one of our bachata turns, which was our inside turns. Today we're going to do our outside turns and mix some inside and outside turns. So starting with outside turns for bachata, when you take your basic, you're going to prep at the end. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But because you need to turn behind yourself, your first step needs to go down the slot of the dance before you rotate. Now in the first video, we talked about prepping our chest and rotating the upper body so that we maximize the amount of momentum we use for our turn. Same rules will apply here, but we need to rotate the other way because we're going to turn back behind our bodies. So as you step to your left foot on one, you're gonna to rotate to the left slightly as well, again with the chest, not with the arms. From here, we're going to twist ourselves around to the right side, and as we do so, bring our right foot back. So one thing about this turn is that because you're taking your body back behind you, it's very easy and tempting to swing that leg back around. Try to keep your legs as close together as possible or ankle to ankle when you take the start of that rotation. Then keep your weight right underneath your body and you'll have a much more centered axis and you'll feel a lot more stable as you go through your turn. So we take our one and we twist our upper body to the left a little bit. We turn ankle to ankle to our right. We bring ourselves back to the front, again, ankle to ankle, and we tap. Here we go. Five, six, seven, outside turn. One, two, three, four. Now one more thing about this turn is our spotting. So because we are rotating the opposite direction, keep looking at the mirror, and then bring yourself around, head looking forward towards the mirror or the front of your room as fast as you can. All right, a little more continuously. Five, six, outside turn. One, two, basic step, five, six, again we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So we take our basic, one, two, three, four. We step first to the right, five. We rotate to our left, ankle to ankle, six, ankle to ankle to the front, and we tap again. Five, six, basic first. One, two, here we go. And five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three, we step to prep. Six, seven, eight. One, two, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's try back to back. Five, six, full basic first. One, two, three, four, five, outside turn. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now that we've done our outside turns back to back, we're gonna try our doubles. We're going to rotate a little bit faster, making sure our footwork is a little bit smaller so our body weight stays underneath us as we spin and we don't end up feeling wobbly and dictate with your head rotation that spot. Another thing that will help is actually counting because our bodies tend to do what we say. So if we say one and two and three, we are more likely to move our feet and rotate our body to that rhythm that we're saying. Something about speaking it out internalizes it in your body and makes it easier for you to do. Okay, hopefully, let's try it. Five, six, basic and one, two, three, and double, outside we go. One and two and three, four, five, six, double, go. One and two and three, four, five, six, double and one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, basic one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basic left to other side, five and six and seven, eight, one, two, here we go, five and six and seven, eight, one, two, one more time, five and six and seven, eight. Very nice. So one thing that feels different in the outside turns is because your first step is kind of planting you before you rotate, if you put a lot of weight back on your heel, it's going to feel a little bit more difficult to rotate around. Because with the inside turns, the first step you take is also your rotation, you immediately can stay off the heel and start to rotate. So when we take the outside turns, you wanna stay off of the heel so you get that same feeling, or if you're going to put your heel down, make sure that your weight is still forward and more onto the balls of your feet, even if the heel is a little bit more flat. 
Okay, now we're going to do inside and outside turns alternating so that we get comfortable switching between the two. We'll take a basic first and we're going to start with inside turns. Five, six, basic and one, two, three, four, single inside turn and one, two, three, four, five, six, outside turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, inside turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, and outside turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our last spin exercise for our outside turns for bachata, and actually we're doing both inside and outside, so we're going to take a double inside and a double outside, and then we'll do a basic before we do it again. Five, six, basic, and one, two, three, four, double inside turns, and one and two and three, four, five and six and double outside, one and two and three, four, five and six and basic step, one, two, three, four, five, six, one more time, one and two and three, four, five and six and outside turn, one and two and three, four, five and six and seven, basic, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with music.